Bibs booktube channel. My name is Kaylen. Welcome back for another new Thursday bookish video and today spring has officially begun. That can only mean one thing and I'm going to attempt to do a spring TBR. Since essentially March is already over with, um, my spring TBR, I hope to complete these books in the months of April and May and then we can kick off the summer season. But oh my, I have not been reading at all this year and I've been in the bookish biggest bookish slump ever. This past month I went into my reading journal and I wrote down goals that I wanted to have and complete this month that were unbook related. And honestly, I thought that helped out a lot. I am not a huge TBR person, but maybe this can get me back on some bookish bandwagon. I don't know. So I have five books today that I'm hoping to read these next few months. <laughs> So first up, Victor and Nora, A Gotham Love Story by Lauren Maracle and illustrated by Isaac Goodhart. This is the DC Inc. comic series that they have going on with the YA section and this covers Dr. Freeze and his love interest. So I'm excited to pick it up. It's been sitting on my shelf. I've been meaning to get to it all winter just because it has a lot to deal with snow and frosty and you know Victor Freeze is full of sadness and cold so I figured this would be the perfect book to hopefully pick up now sooner rather than later before it gets warm and not cold. Ah. Next up is a book that I haven't picked up yet that I saw at Costco the other day and it had me thinking maybe I should actually pick this book up. I looked at it, I grabbed it and I was like I should do this. But that is the 15th book in the Diary of the Wimpy Kid series because I am committed. It's like the Pretty Little Liar series. I will I will read these books all day long if I have. Diary of the Wimpy Kid, The Deep End by Jeff Kitty. And I love these books. They're quick, easy, fun reads. I like to pick them up because within an hour I already have the book read and I'm like, ha ha, another book towards my Goodreads yearly goal. <laughs> Diary of the Wimpy Kid, The Deep End, talks about our main character, Craig Heffley, who is going on a cross-country road trip yet again. He's done one of these before, but he's back for another one. But then they get stranded at an RV park, and nothing is as it seems, and I think this is going to be a great, fun, and hilarious read. The next book that I am super excited about, because I totally forgot it came out and I reminded myself the other day, and that is Momentum by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the prequel short story to the Illuminate Files trilogy companion series that I love. So once I found that this came out on audio because I missed my opportunity on getting it with the Aurora Rising set, big mistake, deep regrets, but I was just so excited to find out that it is available audio and ebook and since I did have some credits through Audible, I decided to snag it and hopefully I can listen to it because it's like a 50 or 80 page book and so I'm like, well, that will go by quickly. So hopefully this could be another quick book I can read. <laughs> and I just love their writing. I love the whole space theme and I can't wait to see what this prequel novella is all about. Second to last book that I plan on reading this spring is Warren the 13th and the 13 Year Curse. This is by Tenyo Del Rio and also illustrated by Will Stahl. I love this trilogy so much. It's about Warren the 13th, who is the 13th Warren in his line, and the first book, Warren the 13th and the All-Seeing Eye, talks about Warren and discovering all these interesting little things that kind of were left behind, and there's this huge mystery, and then the hotel is its own little asset. If you love Lemony Snicket and anything graphic novel, these books are definitely for you. I just love the illustrations. I love everything about it, and it's one of my favorite series of all time, at least I want to say. Even though I haven't read the third book, the third and final book in the series, I just love it so much. So I'm excited to finally, hopefully, complete this series this year. And last but not least, the book that I most anticipated to read for my spring TBR is going to be Dustborn by Aaron Bowman. And I have been hyping this book up in my head ever since like I read the description. So it's kind of like the 100 meets Western meets 
sci-fi over here. So it's like the trifecta, the triangle of perfectness that I needed in my life. Since the 100, I've been a little bit sad and upset, and I think this will fill my void. And I love Aaron Bowman's Western novel, Vengeance Road. I love Vengeance Road so much. And so I'm excited to see this with some like the 100 elements and some sci-fi elements and the cover is amazing. And she has been posting a bunch of stuff on Instagram lately that I'm like, I must have all the promo in my fingertips because I want it so much and I'm so hyped and I can't. Uh, so, so yeah, I'm just super excited and hyped to read this book. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this short little TBR video. I'm trying to stick to short and sweet books because that is my goal. I don't have a lot of free time to read right now. So if I can make those short books and start really reading and getting at those, I think that will help build up my confidence in reading again and I can get back into the swing of things. But anyways, what is a book that's on your spring TBR? Let me know in the comment section down below. And anyways, that's gonna be it for this bookish video and I will see you guys next week for a new book.